So we are back on our, by any means necessary, any extra income we can get that makes sense, we're gonna get it. And for me, that's where field inspections come in. I don't want to or What's up y'all, happy 2023. I am doing my first field inspection of the year and it is January 6th. I'm actually going to um, get back on my field inspecting game, I'm not gonna lie. I wanna get back on my field inspecting game because we have some financial goals this year. And um, today this one was auto assigned to me. If you all are, if you are getting work from Sandcastle, then you know that they will like auto assign you um, field inspections. And it's been a while since I was auto assigned one. Reason being is because <laughs> I thought that was my turn. Reason being is because I upped my fee. You know, um, they were like sending me too many orders that required me to go too far. They required me to go too far for like their base amount around here. So they said that um, I would be removed from the system if I did not go ahead and, um, you know, do some of the, the field inspections. And for me, I was like, well, I got a trick for that. I'm gonna up my fee. <laughs> so I'm not going all the way to these places that I said I was gonna go unless I'm getting paid this amount and yeah so this one is um it's not even that much but it's simple and um generally generally letter drops this is a letter drop field inspection do not pay um like really that much because you just drop in the letter um you will rarely get above 15 this one is 20 um actually 20 or uh, 30 if it's a second attempt not too far from my house so that's what I'm on my way to do right now. I'm getting ready to um, try to drop a letter. I got all my supplies. I'll show you all in a minute once I get there. Okay, so it looks like I have arrived at my location um, for this field inspection. Like I said, it's a letter drop. I didn't have my regular confidential letters. So today their letter is gonna be in this um i had bought a few of these this size on accident from amazon and i just said what the heck i will go ahead and just keep it so what i had to do was i printed my instructions this obviously has you know the um the item that you're supposed to be looking for or the collateral let me say that the collateral you're supposed to be looking for it has the photo requirements that they're wanting how many times I need to attempt. These are my instructions. So my first attempt is supposed to be today and my second attempt is tomorrow. Um, this house is full of cars. So I am hoping somebody's home because I don't want to do an attempt tomorrow. It's not far from my house. So I don't mind doing an attempt tomorrow, but you know, I, I would like to be one and done on this one. So what I'm gonna do is go up here like a motorcycle in this case this is a motorcycle so they want three photos of the collateral an address verification like a posted address so um this would be like the mailbox or the home or the home in mailbox in one shot but i need at least the numbers the digits of the residence or wherever you're at in the in the um photo collateral VIN so if I can see the VIN number on the um, the vehicle or on the motorcycle then I need to get a photo of that envelope containing the letter if you let me say this if you cannot like access what you're here to get photos of then you would take a picture of like where you where it should be so if there's no motorcycle visible to me then I would take a picture of like the garage door or like a parking spot that's empty or you know the driveway being empty something like that all right so envelope contain the letter envelope posted to the door so when they say envelope contain the letter I'm literally going to hold the letter up um, and take a picture of what my envelope looks like 
um, a for sale sign if there's a for sale if the house is for sale I need to show it other vehicles on the site if there's other vehicles here which they have, like I said it's like five cars here take a picture the printed letter the service address um, front view so let me go ahead and get out before I look like a creep out here sitting outside these people house for too long I'm gonna go ahead and I did not prepare my envelope before I got here so I need to get my photo of my letter my point of contact was not there I am leaving um, however the sister was there so my instructions did say it was okay to leave the letter with a, a relative or other house member of whatever as long as they identify themselves and that's what they said so um i did not see the collateral um i was unable to get pictures of the collateral so I gotta look at my instructions again. I think this means that I do need to come back tomorrow, but I think I also saw on there, do not attempt a second attempt if I was successful with the first one. And I wanna say you're successful with the first one if someone that knows the person that lives there gets the paper. So, I am going to um, read my instructions once I get home to verify submit my photos that I did get submit my um my responses and then see if I have to come back out here tomorrow and um yeah so easy easy peasy lemon squeezy now let me get back into why I'm doing field inspections um I don't know when I'm gonna post this video so I may have or may not have mentioned this in the video or two or whatever before this or it'll come after this, but I'm gonna mention it here anyways. So as you all know, we have a baby on the way and um, right now we have to save, um, we have to save a lot of money because you never know what's gonna happen when you're pregnant. And right now we're just trying to build beef up our savings and we have huge savings goals for this year well I don't know if it's huge but we're, we're 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 really trying to tackle a huge goal this year and um being that like I said I'll be delivering almost halfway through the year my husband's gonna obviously take some time off from work during that time just in case just in case there's like an emergency situation where um, he has to be off a little longer or um, you know who knows or maybe he just wants to because he wants to stay home and enjoy his newborn baby. We want to make sure that we have a good enough savings to be able to be home and enjoy that time without having to worry about bills. Like, in addition to just like, you know, regular income, and y'all know that this is one of the reasons that I got into field inspections in the first place was to pay off debt and whatever. So we are back on our, by any means necessary, any extra income we can get that makes sense. We're gonna get it and for me that's where field inspections come in i don't want to or plan to go get any um part-time job or anything like that i don't feel as though that's something that i have to do right now um due to the income sources we do have we are okay we're okay um but i just any, like i said anything help i don't care like any little bit helps so this was a $20 field inspection. That's 20, that's twenty dollars towards the pot. It, the pot. It's 520 to 100. 520 to get to 100 dollars So this is the first week of the month. That's one inspection. And I got I got that 20 to go towards it. Maybe even 30 if I have to do this attempt tomorrow. And that didn't take a lot of, of my time or my fuel costs to do it. So it makes sense to me. And like I said to y'all previously, when I first started talking about field inspections, um, make, it has to make sense. Like I'm not gonna go out my, out my way for a $20 assignment. It's, it's gotta be on my route, in my area. It's gotta make sense. Otherwise there's no need for me to go run, and run, you know, run for something so small. I, if you're interested in getting into field inspections, there is a link in the description 
box below where you can um, purchase a field inspection list and get started with earning extra income for yourself or your family. All right, y'all.